start talking about this premium starter kit and the, there's 12 oils in the kit and some other samples we're gonna be going over. Um, but first, a lot of people always wonder, okay, I can get essential oils at the health food store. I can get essential oils online. I can get essential oils, Circle K, which makes me cringe. <laughs> I, can get, I can get essential oils anywhere. I have seen them at almost every store that I shop at, even clothing stores. Um, and so the question always arises, well, why should I buy this product as opposed to the frankincense I can get for $5 in the store? Okay, well, because the frankincense is $5, that should tell you a lot right there. You get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. So with Young Living, um, the reason why my husband and I chose Young Living is because when my friend Katie gave me a sample of peppermint, which you'll hear a little bit about later, um, we saw how well that it worked to support our son's respiratory system, but we wanted to know what we were getting involved with. So my husband is the big researcher. He went online, he started researching other companies, and what we found was that Young Living has their seed to seal guarantee, which means that from the time the seed is planted in the ground to the time that it's harvested and bottled, it, the utmost care is taken to make sure it is pure, never pesticides, no weed killers, nothing. Um, I was just watching a call um, Lauren Walker was talking with the, the manager of our lavender farm in France, and he has a picture of actually sheep going through their lavender fields because they will eat the plants. They won't eat the lavender because they don't like the lavender, but they'll go and eat the wheat. Nice! So, yeah, yeah. this is what they do. They use their own oils on their plants, um, they use um, companion planting, they do hand picking of weeds. So, very, very intricate operation there. So, never pesticides at all. Their water is even tested, their source of water. So if Young Living ever brings on a partner farm, they have to meet the seed to seal standards, which is a mile and a half long of standards. I've heard the list. I've heard the um, intricate details of what it takes to be a partner farm. And oh my gosh, I was exhausted listening to it. So these people know what they, they're doing and every little detail is, is um, looked at. So that's why Young Living. And I will tell you that their company from corporate all the way down, every member in between that I've ever met, integrity is super important to them. Full disclosure, you can go visit any farm that you want to. Some of their partner farms, some of them you do have to schedule a time, but that's mainly just because of what staff is there and all that. So, um, so yeah, so that is why we choose Young Living over everything else. And like I said, you get what you pay for. So two dollars in Circle K, or <laughs> or a little bit more for quality. And something else um, on a part of that too, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Carissa, which I know all of you know me live on video as well. Okay, <laughs> over there. <laughs> Is when you put an essential oil on your body, you are expecting change, right? You're expecting that plant to do whatever it's made to do. And so if you buy an essential oil from a company that does not use plants, because there's a lot of aromatic properties and companies are using that to make you feel like you're getting the smell of lavender, but if it's actually made in a lab, then you put that oil on, it's not gonna do anything in your body. And so why spend your money on something when you're trying to use an essential oil to enact change in your body when it can't do it if it's not made from a plant? And so that's a big thing on seed to sale too, is just making sure that the oils that you're using are coming from plants and not made in the lab because those aren't gonna do anything for you. And then there's three ways to use essential oils. Oh, let's show them. Yes. <laughs> show them. Especially with that one. <laughs> so um, you can use them topically. You can just put the oil um, onto your body. You can put it anywhere you'd like. So I'm gonna put it on my wrist and on my neck. This one is stress away. I got two drops, so I must need it. Uh, <laughs> you can also do it aromatically. So like in a diffuser, there's one in the box here. I did not pull that out, but <laughs> you put it in the diffuser, kind of like a humidifier, add the water, add your oils, and let it go. Or you can put the oil on your hand, rub it together, and breathe in. A lot of times we need breaths during the day, so just that simple act. I usually breathe in about three good deep breaths, and that's Ready to go. Yeah. And then you can use it internally. And again, we're only talking about Young Living Essential Oils because we know these are plants and they're only plants, 100% plant. 
And so um, they made a vitality lamp line so we can put them in our water and drink them or put them in our baked goods or cook with them and all the things, which I'm sure you'll hear about in someone else later. Yeah. And if you are putting it in water or any beverage, make sure it's glass or stainless steel or like a ceramic coffee mug, something like that. Just no plastic because it will break down the plastics and then you drink the plastics. And that's gross. Yeah. <laughs> Very gross. So. So we are going to start by sharing each of the 12 oils in the premium starter kit. So do we have any volunteers for who would like to go first? You want to go first? Sure. Okay. Ooh, Miss Sherry. I'm going to get geeky. You get geeky? Can I get sciency and geeky? Yes, get yes. geeky. Because I brought my big book. Okay. Just make can sure you that you're in the video. Yeah. Can you see me? I can see you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're in the perfect spot, Sherry. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to talk about my first oil that I have a passion for and this year, time of year it has been like essential in my life and it is Raven. So uh, Raven, uh, for me, <laughs> I can use it straight, it doesn't bother me. I put it in my hands, you do a circular motion that increases the frequency and I'll put it on my chest, I'll put it behind my ears, I'll put it behind my, the back of my neck and I can breathe. Or you can put it in a little uh, inhaler and you can, it will really help your respiratory system to um, open your airways. So I'm gonna get geeky and read some of this stuff. This, I thought, it's, a, it's no wonder this stuff works because um, the oils of this blend fight against respiratory disease, infections such as tuberculosis, influenza, pneumonia, and it's a highly antiviral and antiseptic, okay? There was a Raven Stara, Stara? In it, and uh, it is re uh, referred to by most people as the Madagascar, as the oil that heals. It is an antiseptic, anti-infectious. It is antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, and expectorant. Okay, so it has been used to treat influenza, sinusitis, bronchitis, and herpes. Wow. Uh, it also has lemon, increases the microcirculation, and promotes immunity. Wintergreen has strong anti-inflammatory and anti-spasmodic properties. It is an analgesic, reduces pain, and helps increase respiratory capacity. And then it has peppermint. All these are in here. So it has peppermint. It's a powerful anti-inflammatory, antiseptic respiratory for your respiratory system. It is used to treat bronchitis, pneumonia. It's high in menthol and menthone. Helps suppress coughs, clear lungs, and nasal congestion. Eucalyptus radiata. Uh, it may have profound antiviral effect upon the respiratory system. It may also help reduce inflammation and uh, of the na nasal mucous membrane. So it's no wonder this has allowed me not to have, I have not had an inhaler since I started using this. I have not had bronchitis and I have not been on an antibiotic. And before that, it was usually twice a year that my respiratory system would have uh, act up, and it was they diagnosed me with um, seasonal or uh, allergy induced asthma. Allergy induced asthma. So I don't have any more. And I nice. use this. Good job. Woo -hoo. Anybody else want to go next? When you're ready, you can just go. Just roll that on all over wherever 
Um, I added to tea and coffee and I've been drinking it. Um, I made up some capsules that have the thieves, oregano, lemon, frankincense, nice. and tea tree. Um, because Young Living Oils you can take internally. Um, so that's basically my cold medicine I've been taking. Nice. Um, yeah. Good. That's awesome. Thieves, don't get sick. So use it in advance so that you stay healthy. But then also when you do get sick because you go on vacation and share hotel rooms with people that are sick, <laughs> then you just use it more and you get better faster. Nice. And will you just touch on the other Thieves products Young Living has? Oh, yeah. Um, so Young Living also has the cleaners, hand soaps, um, laundry soap, dishwasher soap, awesome. tons of cleaners, um, toothpaste. Yeah, Thieves is, um, has been really helpful this week for my sore throat. I made a spray, and I'm just spraying my throat with it. Nice. That's been awesome. Um, and they do toothpaste, gloss, mouthwash. Good. Um, I like the toothpaste because it's not super minty. The mouthwash is extra minty, <laughs> extra strong to make up for the toothpaste. Um, but it is really good for gum health. I used to have a lot of gum issues at the dentist in the past couple years. She has said that my gums are looking a lot better than they were before. Nice. And that's all that I changed was switching to the Young Living toothpaste. That's awesome. Great job. Yeah. Thank you. Margo's going to go. down um, my oil is peppermint oil and I had to write it down because there's so many uses for it um, this is one of our favorites because we use it almost every day so it energizes the mind and it awake awakens the senses it also supports digestive issues so bloating pressure if you eat in too much um, I did this the other day I ate way too much so, <laughs> <laughs> so I took a veggie capsule and I uh, nice. Peppermint in there and digest. Nice. Took it oh, and yeah. within a few minutes I felt great. <laughs> so you can use it before or during a workout. So just put a drop in your hand, just inhale it like Cam showed, and it just opens everything up. So you can breathe a lot easier. Um, you can use it as a breath freshener. So just put a drop in your mouth. Um, if you're feeling hot, you can just put you know some on your neck or your chest. I've been doing this a lot lately because I've been getting a little hot. <laughs> you can also put it in a spray bottle with water and just spray it on yourself. Um, let's see, a headache. That's a big one in our family. Um, I used to have a lot of headaches all the time. So when I started using the peppermint oil, it would just get rid of the headache. So now when I mention, oh, I, my head's hurting, my youngest son right away will go grab the peppermint oil. Aww. He's putting it in his hand. He's rubbing it on my temples, my forehead, and then he prays over me. So Aww. yeah, Aww. It's so nice. But um, it's actually peppermint. I'm sure you guys all used it, but it's very strong oil. So if you are applying it near your eyes, I suggest you just keep your eyes closed a minute or two, or else it'll. It's just so strong it'll burn your eyes. Um, also, you can bake with it. I love to bake uh, peppermint brownies. You can put a drop in your coffee, a drop in your water. Also diffusing, I like to diffuse this when um, my kids are studying or trying to concentrate. So I like to diffuse peppermint and just awaken their senses. Nice, <laughs> great job. Great job. All right, I'm gonna talk about Citrus Fresh. And I do have everything written down because this should be called act, actually citrus powerhouse because the oils in here are really powerful. Two things I want to warn you about right off the bat, though, is it is photosensitive if you get it on your skin. Mm -hmm. So if you shower and go out or if you're in water and you come out and put it on you or anything, be very careful about this. And also, many of the oils in here are anticoagulants. Mm. So if you have any problems with anything like that, make sure that when you're taking this, you're letting your physician or anybody know because this could be causing you problems. So those are the two warnings on this. But this has in it orange, tangerine, grapefruit, lemon, mandarin, and spearmint. This will stimulate your right brain to amplify, amplify creativity and well-being. 
eradicate anxiety, and it works well as an air purifier. Hmm. Who likes root beer? Root beer? Okay. I saw your hand first, so you get Aww. the little star. Aww. You put citrus fresh with what? Wintergreen. Wintergreen. <laughs> And when so you diffuse that, it smells like root beer. Oh, really? Oh, no. So, awesome. yeah. So if you want to smell root beer in your house, wintergreen and My citrus fresh. Here. Oh, okay? Yeah. So as you get some of these oils in your kit and you think, oh, I don't have much, try putting some of these together and see what you come up with. Nice. It's also a mood booster. It's high end, I'm probably going to mispronounce this, it's limonene. Perfect. And thank you. And that prevents damage to your DNA. Mm. Okay, so you really need to pay attention to that. This is just great for overall wellness. But if you look at the different oils in here, orange elevates the mind and body, bringing security, joy, and peace. It's high in the limonene. It's a great protector for your DNA. It's anticoagulant. So pay attention to how many of these have the limonene and our anticoagulants and things in here. It's really a great oil. Tangerine is sedating and calming. Mm -hmm. It combats anxiety and nervousness, high in limonene. Mm -hmm. Then you've got grapefruit, which is a decongestant and fat dissolvent. This is the one that's really bad about um, the photosensitivity, so you've got to be really careful. High in limonene, anticoagulant, very calming, sense of wholeness. Lemon helps purify and uplift. It's extremely clean smelling, so this is what is going to make your house smell clean. I think this may be one of the reasons why it was placed in the mm -hmm. kit instead of something else that was in there. Mm -hmm. This is great, especially if you're cooking fish or something in your house. Put this in your kitchen when you're doing something like that, and it smells really great. Um, Mandarin, sedative, slightly hypnotic pro properties that have combat that help combat insomnia, stress, and irritability. Hmm. High in limonene, anticoagulant. Hmm. And then this is my favorite mint, spearmint. Supports the respiratory, glandular, and nervous system. All three of them in one. With its hormone-like activity, it helps open and release em emotional blocks and brings a feeling of balance. Great oil, okay? Here's the other thing that most people aren't telling you about. Almost every one of these, in fact, I believe all of the oils in here are great for your animals too. Citrus fresh, I was told by a vet to put in my dog's water all the time. Reason why? It helps them to know when they need to drink. It does the same for you. It doesn't make them drink more, but it reminds them to go back and drink until they're completely hydrated. Okay, you can use this oil in a lot of different things. Things I found out about looking at different things. It's good for your um, diffuser, of course, so we can get root beer. Good on the dryer balls if you're using them in your dryer. Marinades, baked goods, frosting, guacamole, yogurt. It's great in your ninja. And some of us in the room put it in their wine. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Great replacement in your diffuser for purification. Nice. Okay, so awesome. Try that. And if you have any questions about using any of the oils for your animals, I brought my books with me tonight and you can look at those. Okay? Awesome. Thank you. Anybody ready to jump up? Kelly? All right. So, but um, I actually 
ended up blending this later on with a couple of the oils in the kit too, and that really knocked uh, the seasonal allergies out. I don't have that issue anymore, kind of like what Sherry had said. Um, the other thing they call this is the Swiss Army of the oils. Um, it can be used for a lot of things. Um, anytime I get a cut on my hand, I usually put the oil on that. Um, surprisingly, it doesn't sting. I was really thinking yeah. it was going to sting when I put it on an open cut, but it, it didn't um, happen. So um, anytime I have that, um, another mm -hmm. little tip. Um, I heard that if you um, have sensitive ears and you put your earrings in and they're, they kind of make you uh, itch or they hurt, is either put a little in the hole or actually on the actual back of the earring and mm. then slide it in um, and it, it works really great for that as well. Nice. So um, you can also use it in um, the Vitality line. Uh, for, I actually use it in uh, lavender lemonade, if you've ever had that, that's yeah. delicious. Um, it actually, I actually tried some in hot, hot chocolate as well. Really? That was really, really good. Um, that's, I mean, oh, actually, I forgot, a lot of people also use this for calming um, mm -hmm. at night. If you put it in your diffuser, it helps people sleep. Um, that's awesome. awesome right now, but um, when in doubt, when in doubt, and, and yeah, if, if you oh, burns, mm -hmm. burns, yeah, burns, it works well on burns too. So, yeah, this is probably like the go to this and somebody else that'll talk about frankincense. And you don't know what to use, lavender and frankincense are probably yeah. like the two go to's. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm Maureen. And who would have guessed? My oil is Valor. So I have it in a roller ball because I need it all the time. <laughs> but I'll tell you why. Valor is a really kind of a crazy oil. It can give you courage. It can get away fear. Um, and it, I mean, if you wake up and you're just off, is why I use it every day. Oh, I guess I need courage. So, anyway, so I use it every single day. But it also has a calming and peaceful effect to it, too. So I think that's why it is such a go-to oil, because it can cover you from head to toe, whether you're stressed, you're, you're just feeling off, or you just need to be calmed down. This is the oil that's going to do it for you. Now, this oil has spruce in it, which is grounding, and... It says it's also improved your oxygenation. I did not know that. Hmm. Maybe because it calms you down so you take deeper breaths. <laughs> Maybe that's it. I don't know. Um, it says it's real balancing. Um, it has rosewood, which is soothing to the skin. It's also relaxing and gives a feeling of peace and gentleness. Mm -hmm. It has blue tansy in it. I love this one because it helps one's uh, um, to help rid oneself of anger, promote a feeling of self-control. <laughs> so I need that one. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and frankincense. I think that everybody should use frankincense. But the other thing is, it, this oil does. It says that the body systems um, it affects are the muscles, the bones, the skin, the nervous system, and the emotional balance. So that's probably why all of those are my issues. So that's why I love this oil too. But the other thing is it um, helps to balance the electrical energies in your body. And I don't know if you guys know, I have a lot of uh, muscle and skeletal issues. Um, so I'll take this and I'll rub it on my spine and I get relief that way. They actually call this a chiropractor in a bottle, which is pretty fun. But I put this in a concoction I make to help relieve any discomfort I might have in my back and my muscles and my bones. So, um, yeah, this is oil I think everyone should own. <laughs> Hello, everybody. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Lena, and I'm going to talk to you about peace and calm. Mm -hmm. Peace 
Peace and Calm is an oil that is very near and dear to my heart because it saved my pregnancy and my daughter. So along with lavender, um, at 31 weeks, I went into preterm labor with my daughter. I was having contractions six minutes apart. And so my midwife said, I'm gonna give you about 30 minutes, and if they don't stop, we're going to the hospital. Because at six minutes apart at 31 weeks, it is not safe to have a baby. So I told her, all right, give me, give me some time. So I got out my gentle baby's book, and I'm sorry I did not bring it, I was running out the door. Um, but I looked up preterm labor in the gentle baby's book, and it recommended getting in a warm bath with lavender and peace and calm. So I did. Within 15 minutes, the, contra the contractions had completely stopped. And I thought, okay, this is it's a little weird. <laughs> so I waited about an hour. They did not come back. Throughout the next several weeks, I continued to have preterm labor contractions, and they would get to six minutes apart. I would get in the bath, I'd put my peace and calm and my lavender, and my contractions would stop. That continued until 36 weeks. At 36 weeks, it is safe to have a baby, and I'm a home birth mama, and I was, I was determined with all my might to have my baby at home. So at, 31, or at 36 weeks, I stopped the regimen of stopping my labor. And I am so, so, so grateful to say that my daughter ended up staying in the womb until 42 weeks. <laughs> she would not come out. Um, and even to this day, when, you know, she's 13 months now and she gets a little crazy or teething, I'll just open the bottle. She knows the scent. And nice. I know she knows. She has oh, a nice. direct memory of it. And I'll, I'll just put it under her nose and she leans in. Aww. And she leans in. That's until awesome. she touches it with her nose, <laughs> the sweetest thing. So, uh, whether or not you believe oils can affect you physically or emotionally, this is a true testament that it truly manifested a big physical reaction. So, awesome. so, so grateful. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you. started but it was the oil she needed the most I was not a fan of dye dyes and a lot of people are not a fan of dye dyes by the way it smells which is one thing I really like about Young Living is they will not doctor or change a oil to make it smell good it's like you get the plant and that's what the plant smells like so you get what you get which I appreciate so funny thing is now that I use dye dyes I could take the lid off dye dyes and smell it and I instantly have peace and comfort and all of that. So emotions are directly related with essential oils. Um, whereas with most people, when they smell dye dyes, they're like, what? How could you say you have peace with that? <laughs> but I know what it's gonna do for my body and I know when I need it, it's already gonna give relief. So for me, it's very soothing when I smell it. So I absolutely love it. So six years ago, I was in a very bad way. Um, I was struggling with my digestive system. I had been in the hospital for almost two weeks with a tube in my nose down into my belly. Um, and they didn't know what was going on with me um, until five years ago this month. It was actually this month, five years ago, that um, my doctor, after just thinking and, and talking with me, because I worked with her, because I'm a nurse, um, in the gastroenterology room, so every time we were doing procedures with patients, she was asking me questions and she said, one day, I think you have gastroparesis. And I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. I don't have any Parkinson's, MS, diabetes, like any other neurological diseases. So why would I have um, gastroparesis? And she said, I don't know, but she says, I just feel in my heart that that's what you have going on. So she sent me to the test, and I did, and sure enough, that's what I had. And so then the question was, why do you have gastroparesis? If you don't have any other neurological diseases, why do you have this? And so the only thing that we could come up with, her, my doctor, and my husband, was from toxins, from exposure to toxins. So 
If you knew me back then, I was, if you walked into my house, it smelled like bleach and pine salt and Windex because to me that was clean. Like if my house didn't smell like chemicals, then it wasn't clean. Mm -hmm. And I think that comes from being in the healthcare for so long. I was a nurse for 15 years. And so we use bleach and all the harmful chemicals to sterilize equipment. And so that's what I was just trained with. So that's what I used. And so I immediately was told by my husband that we were ditching all the chemicals, which was very hard for me because I needed to clean my house. And so as Christine mentioned, Thieves is a household cleaning product. And so when this was given as an alternative natural way to clean my house, I thought, you're crazy. That, <laughs> that bottle is not gonna disinfect all my house. And so my husband, being the nice man that he is, went to pubmed.com did all the research on the essential oils that make up that blend, and sure enough, they do kill germs. They kill MRSA, they kill all these super bugs, and so I was very confident at that point to switch to the natural cleaning products. I've been using those for five years, and not only has it been effective, but my house is well. Like, my daughter doesn't take allergy medicines. I am doing so much better than I was five years ago. My husband has less migraines. My son has just being so well that nobody's had any antibiotics in five years. And I contributed to kicking the toxins out and really creating a healthy environment for our home. So that was a squirrel moment. But um, <laughs> so for my gastroparesis, one of the big symptoms I have with it is acid reflux. So a lot of people struggle with acid reflux. You go to the doctor, they give you a pill and they say, oh, take this pill, you'll be fine. What they don't tell you, and I'm not against doctors, I'm 100% in support for them, there's a need for it. I just feel like we don't do uh, chronic illness very well in America. We do emergency medicine really well, but not chronic illness. So when you get a pill for um, acid reflux, basically you're getting a proton pump inhibitor. So what it does is it goes into your body and it turns off your stomach's ability to make acid. Well, there's a reason why you have acid in your stomach. The purpose of the acid is to actually help to break down the food before it gets into the small intestine so you can, you can absorb it properly. Um, so what we, most people don't know is who, those who suffer with acid reflux, it's generally not an uh, under or overproduction of acid. It's actually generally that they don't have the right enzymes in their stomach to break down the food because a lot of the foods we eat today don't have the enzyme properties. One, because of the farming. Two, because of the processed foods we eat. And so when they eat this food, you don't have the correct enzymes to be able to bring them down. So your stomach goes into overdrive. It's just trying to do everything it can to be able to break down that food so you can pass it into your small intestine. And so one thing that my friend did, which I was so grateful for, is when I had shared with her what was going on with me, she's like, I don't even know how to help you. <laughs> But she said, I heard that lemon and peppermint are really great essential oils for reflux. So I said, okay. So she, I said, what do I do with them? She's like, I don't know. I think you drink the lemon and I think you put the peppermint on. And I think that's the greatest thing that anyone could like really help you with is we don't know what these oils can do for you, but you can figure it out, right? Just take them home, put them on. You're not going to hurt yourself. They're plants and figure it out. So that's exactly what I did. I put lemon in glass, no plastic and I drank it, and then I rubbed peppermint on my belly, and I went to bed that night, and it was the best night I had in so long because I did not have the reflux, which if you have reflux, you know that it's the worst at night when you lay in bed. So then I started doing all this research, and I found Digize. Digize actually does help to break down the food and get it down to where it needs to be out of your belly. So now, I take Digize every single day, it helps to prep your belly with the enzymes that it needs before meals. So if, and I have so much butter now and so controlled that sometimes I don't need this, but if you are on medicine for reflux, first of all, don't just stop at cold turkey because then you're gonna go through all kinds of stuff, but start prepping yourself by doing digives before every meal. If you forget, do it after the meal. You can topically put it on or you can be like me and just drop it right on your tongue. It doesn't taste good, it doesn't smell good, but it does what it needs to. And then support your body every day by drinking lemon and peppermint in your water. And I promise you, I have shared this story with so many people and they have been able to let go of those reflux medicines. And there's a reason why it's important to let go of those medicines because when they block the ability for your stomach to produce acid, 
you actually put yourself at risk for developing bad bacteria. So the other purpose of the acid is to protect your body against bad bacteria. So now people who get on those, and I worked with gastroenterology doctors forever, they get so many cases with people getting H. pylori, which is a bacteria that you don't want in your stomach, which is so common because they cut your ability to protect your stomach. Now to get rid of H. pylori is very, very difficult. And generally most of the time they put you on antibiotics for months and months and months. And then you're wiping out the good flora with the bad and then they get C. diff and all other complications. So you don't want to be on those medications. And they also can, you, without the acid in your stomach, you can develop gastric polyps and those polyps can turn into cancer. So there's so many big risks with being on those medications. It's not just like, oh, I have acid reflux. It's not a big deal. It's a big deal. So you need to take care of your insides um, really well with that. Um, the other one I'm going to talk about real quick is frankincense because our friend was going to talk about it, but he's not in town, so we're gonna, I'm going to share about it. So um, I know his story. He has two stories, actually. One, he, he was a Navy... Um, he worked in, he was in the military in the Navy. <laughs> there you go. So, and then he was a painter by trade. So he has lots of issues um, skin-wise um, with just getting, needing to get rid of moles. And so he, when he first um, got into oils, he came up to me, he says, hey, I have this spot on my hand right here. What do I do with it? I was like, frankincense? And so he started using it religiously all the time. And now he um, has seen that all those spots go away. And then he recently um, shared with me that his dog, who was a boxer, which I guess are notorious for getting tumors um, in that breed, and they would go and pay like $600, $700 to get these tumors taken off their dogs because they would be cancerous or turned to cancerous, is that his wife, being the genius that she is, found a recipe online, and I don't have it, but we, if you need it. Oh, I dump a lump. Dump a lump. Okay, it's an essential oil recipe she found online. And she um, made it herself and she puts it on the dog and now the tumors don't come back. And she even tested it where she stopped using it and frankincense is a methylene and the tumors came back. So then she had to go back and just keep using it and then they went away. So I think that's a great testament to frankincense. If you are in an area where you're really trying to study benefits for tumors or immune system, this is a good one to do some research on PubMed or the Truth About Cancer. You can get Truth About Cancer, um, and it's in the second one. There's like nine of them, but two of them are free online on YouTube. Watch the second one, and they do a whole uh, sharing on essential oils on there that are powerful on how frankincense helped a lady with a brain tumor. So really, really awesome. So, Okay, Pam, hey, you're up. I love having Kristen here with all of her nurse background. I'm like, I'm like, I had no idea some of this stuff. So um, I'm going to share with you the pathway. First, I want to um, draw your attention to the fact this has a child truth cap on it. Don't freak out. It's not going to hurt you. But for younger kids, the winter green that's in here can be a little much on the respiratory system. So that's the only reason why it's on here. So don't be afraid to use this. Um, so my story, um, what we use this for, this is really good for your muscles and, and joints as well, right? Mm -hmm. Because we have the deep relief, so we have deep relief that works well too. Um, so number one, I use this, my husband does construction and he does things that he thinks he's 25 or 44 <laughs> and he's always sore somehow. So I'm constantly using this is a great muscle rub. So a um, couple drops of this with the carrier oil, like coconut oil, olive oil, or we love Young Living's V6 carrier oil because it's so light. It just soaks right into the skin. You're not greasy, um, none of that. So, um, and that's nice too because one pump is pretty generous. So usually a pump of that with a drop or two of this and you're good to go. Um, my other story with this involves Kelly actually because I remember I can't remember if I had just gotten my kit, like ordered it and it wasn't in or whatever, but I had done a trail run, a 15 mile broken up trail run, an overnight thing with a relay team. So um, I was literally almost limping going into church. It's when we were at um, Salt and Light and we were meeting um, 
we're meeting in this room and there was a kitchen off to the side of it. So, so I was like so sore, my quads were so sore and Kelly's like, use some pan away. And I'm like, okay, she had some with her, thankfully. So we're literally in the kitchen of our church, like rubbing down thighs <laughs> like this. No carrier, which was fine, but the reason why I say use the carrier is because it helps like spread it over a larger area. If it's warmer, because this has the peppermint and the wintergreen and all that, that can be pretty warm. It takes away the heat of the oil. So if you ever put anything on topically, it's just warm on your skin, just cover it with that carrier oil. It'll take that heat away, um, but it won't lessen the properties of the essential oil. So anyway, I did rub this on, and I think you sent me home with a sample, like I think you had a little vial. And so I did a few more times, and the next morning I'm like, I was still sore, but I could walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I was like, oh my goodness. And like I said, I don't think I had gotten my kit yet, but I had ordered it, so I was like waiting for it to come back in. But um, that's my favorite memory of my piano is <laughs> being with Kelly. Okay. Going like this right before church starts with my, on my quads, but... Um, so yeah, so this is even one like my kiddos with growing pains, like I have kids that shoot up like rockets, you know, like literally seems like overnight, I'm looking, I'm like, wait a minute, you were not as tall as me yesterday, and now you are. Mm -hmm. So this is a great one too, that, and it's so nice as a mom, a lot of us in here can attest to that, it's so nice to be able to tell my kids, just go grab this and use it. Take this, or they'll say, mom, yeah. can I put this in my diffuser? Absolutely. Mom, can I yeah. put this in my water? Sure. Yeah. Mom, can I do it? So it's so nice as a mom to be able to say, just go grab that. Yeah. And I can keep them out. They're all over my home. I don't have to worry about locking them up. I don't have to worry about, you know, someone getting into something they shouldn't. Like, you don't have to worry about any of that. So um, this one also helped on, speaking of pets, my dog. So he had something going on with his hips. We're pretty sure that he had done something with the muscles in his back hip coming down our stairs too fast because he was notorious for doing that. He chases the kids down and then like slap the towel. So anyway, he was having a hard time walking, mm -hmm. getting up, we took him to the vet, they wanted to put him on this, that, and the other thing. And I said, well, let me try my essential oils. If that doesn't work, I'll come back. Kind of got the eye roll from the vet and I want to show her a video now because we did this and some pet CBD and some copaiba with the carrier oil He's running up and down the stairs again. Awesome. He goes down slower now because I think he learned his lesson. <laughs> um, but so I want to show the vet now, hey, like, you know, tell your patients it's okay. Like, yeah. there's something to these. So super, um, super broad range of things that you can do with this oil. This is one that I wouldn't necessarily find a reason why you would take it internally. But I do know that I have someone on my team. Um, she had TMJ and she would rub it on the outside. So yeah. like on the outside of her jawline. Um, and that really helped a lot. So um, this can also be another good one if you do have headaches. Yeah, I imagine like just rub, I've never I've never had them like that, but imagine I can just imagine just massaging my scalp yeah. with this. Like it's really good for us, right? Do it anyway. Yeah. Good for good for really our good for, really for, for that. Yeah. Yes, I actually this speaking of that, I was at um, an origami owl party at a neighbor's house, and her mom was saying she had arthritis, and I had this in my bag. I said, just try it. So by the time she left, she's like, I need to yeah. call you. I yeah. can move my hand. I'm yeah. like, that's important. So. Yeah, and you didn't have to use a comb for your dog when you used that, did you? Nope, didn't have to use a comb for the dog, nothing. And he knew, like, we pull these out, and he just kind of sat there. He's like, okay, let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> yep. So, um, they know so what's yeah. good for them. They know what's good for them, yes. And then, um, stress a couple other things I'll just share with you, because we've covered all the oils. Yes? Just stress away. stress away. Oh, stress away. Um, so stress away was the one that we were demonstrating at the beginning on how to do it topically. Um, this one, I just, I've just i been talking to my bank teller that I go to every week about the oils, and she's super excited about it, and she has midterms this week, and I said, I have to swim by the bank. Would you like me to drop off a sample of stress away? Sure. So I did that on Tuesday. Yesterday, I texted her, I'm like, did you try the stress away? She's like, oh my gosh, it's like heaven in a bottle. Like she's like <laughs> loving this stuff. So as the name implied, if you are just amped up, just need that sense of calm, if you're nervous about something, um, stress away, absolutely amazing. Some, I know some moms wear this as their perfume. Um, our friend Bethany, she has twins and two other children. She's super mama and she loves this one. This is great. This is a good one to diffuse, especially if your house is a little, Excited. Yes. <laughs> so stress away is absolutely amazing. Um, and then in the kit you also get 
some other goodies. Some of you might get a sample of these household cleaner. So we talked a little bit about that. They um, have had trouble with these, the tops of these leaking. So if you don't get this, you'll get a thief spray. So don't think you got the wrong kit or anything. So just know that. Um, you also get two of these roller tops. So these will just pop onto any essential oil bottle. I will say that, so on Amazon, you can get empty roller bottles like these and they come with their own tops. These tops won't fit on there, so just so you're fully aware. So go ahead and use the ones that come in your kit, and when you reorder them, get them from Young Living, there's a pack of 10 for like $9.95. They're super, super inexpensive. Um, and we like these for things like our stress away, maybe the pan away might be a good one, a lavender, whatever it is that you wanna just quickly and easily roll on, use it for that. Um, and they're interchangeable, so if you are using it on your stress away, your bottle's empty, you get a new bottle, just pop it right back on the bottle. Um, and then you get the Thieves Hand Purifier, which we can now say hand sanitizer. So excited. <laughs> um, I actually um, am in a talking with uh, another place I found essential oils is TJ Maxx. I was there buying clothes for my daughter, and the cashier or the manager had walked by the cashier, got some hand sanitizer. I'm like, do try this. And he's like, oh my gosh, that smells so good. So yeah. talking with him too. Um, so this is really good. A lot of the hand sanitizers you're finding in the store have things like triclosan, which is rat poison, um, has very harsh alcohols, which are very drying to the skin. It's just no bueno. And they found that it's no better than washing your hands. So I'm like, okay, if it's not doing anything better and it's going to harm my body, why just not just ditch it? So this is what we carry around in our, and this is what I carry around in my purse. Um, my kids love carrying these things around. They get the little holders that Young Living has and they carry but they don't really go anywhere spectacular, but they like to carry them around with them. Um, so yeah, and then you can get the bigger refill bottles, which is, is nice to refill those. Um, and then you also get two sample packets of our Nature Red. Everybody in the world needs frankincense, lavender, and Nature Red. <laughs> so if you're only gonna get three things, those are the three things. Um, so the Nature Red is antioxidant, um, our antioxidant drink. So it has whole fruit in it. It's super important to eat the whole fruit because when you have the skin um, and you have the entire fruit, then you get all the proteins, you get all the good fibers, all that stuff. So it's a whole fruit puree. When you order them in the bottles, you'll see a, a different color at the bottom. That's the fruit puree that's settling to the bottom. So just give it a little shake. The rest of it is water infused with essential oils because essential oils, what's that? Good for your dogs. Good for the dogs, too. I did give this to Charlie, too, if you liked it. Didn't like it in his water, but he liked it straight up. I put it in their food. Yeah. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Put it in his water. He just looked at me like, no. Gave it to him straight. He's like, okay, I'll do it now. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so the essential oils help your body absorb it quicker. You're, you, it'll help get it to all the cells. Your body knows what you do with it, so it helps it absorb. So you get two packs of that as well. So I think we've got everything. This is diffuser. The diffuser, yeah. So we covered all the oils, all the samples you get, and then with your starter kit, you also get a diffuser, which is in this box. Hopefully it's not too packaged up. Because I will show you, because this is one of my favorite ones. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. The nice thing about this is that you get all of this for only $165, which is an amazing, amazing deal. Um, and then you have your own account with Young Living, and that means that you can order everything else that you want when you want it. Um, the best way that we order is on Essential Rewards, which is our, someone want to explain what Essential Rewards is while I'm getting this out? Yeah. This is the beautiful diffuser. I like this. You do have your choice of diffusers. There's a couple of them that'll increase the, the cost of your starter kit a little bit, but they'll tell you, so don't freak out. Don't worry, you're gonna get one. And then all of a sudden, like, hey, wait a minute. So this is the diffuser that I really like. Yes, and on a century awards, you earn um, points back that you can use to get more free product. <laughs> Um, so basically, when you are ditching and switching your chemicals into natural, um, healthy things, and also your supplements. So this was a big thing that was a wake-up call for us. We started looking at the ingredients of the supplements we were taking, and you can do that at home. Just take the bottle and look up whatever the ingredient is that you don't recognize it and see if it's actually beneficial for your body. Because even in your vitamins and your supplements, you can find harsh chemicals that are actually harming you and not benefiting you. 
So when you start to switch things out and you purchase from Young Living, you're purchasing from your own store, so you get percentage back to use on your own um, whatever products you need. And for the first three months, you get 10%. Months four through 24, you get 20% back. I don't know any card company, like Target gives you 5%. Some credit cards give you certain percentages. Young Living gives you 20% back, which is pretty incredible. And then after two years, you get 25%. And you also are eligible for extra kits that are discounted and free oils every month. So it's a huge beneficial program to be able to get your house healthy and well. Yep. And honestly, like she was saying, with all that, like it just it just makes sense to, to do it. I encourage everyone to do it when they get their kit because you can make your your starter kit your first essential rewards order. So I usually tell people, hey, just go ahead and make that your first essential rewards order. Let's figure out what other things you want. It's usually the household products and supplements that I usually guide them to um, next. So, so that is it. Thank you guys for being here.